Hey, this is Chris Vlasto from TechCrunch, and today we're coming to you from Microsoft's Surface 2 and Surface Pro 2 event here in New York City. The presentation just wrapped up, and we're about to dive in with these new devices, so come with us and let's take a look. So here we are with the new Surface 2. Uh, interesting name choice, they decided to drop the RT. Cosmetically, you're gonna notice it looks very, very similar to the original Surface RT, but with the exception that we've got a silver back. Going around the side, we've got our usual slew of accoutrements. We have our volume rocker, our headphone jack. We also have the first of two speakers, the second, obviously, being on the other side, where it's joined by charger and the full-size USB 3.0 port. So we're gonna be able to transfer data and move files around much, much faster than you could on the original Surface RT, where you only had a USB 2.0 port. We've got a slightly redesigned kickstand. Uh, the original Surface RT had a kickstand that popped out at 22 degrees, which is great if you're a short guy but apparently isn't quite as good if you're pushing six feet and above. So what we've got here is a two-stage kickstand. Pop it out one level. And then we've got the way it normally looks. And we pull it out one more. We've got a 1080p display as opposed to the 768p display that we saw in the original, which means we've got a much crisper, much sharper uh, viewing experience on the surface. Uh, it's also got a snappier NVIDIA Tegra 4 chipset inside there, so just for my quick messing around with it, it feels much, much more responsive than the original. Microsoft has thrown in a 3.5 megapixel front-facing camera and a 5 megapixel rear-facing camera, and both of them are meant to do very well when it comes to low-light situations. So if you're the kind of person who likes Skyping in the dark, which might be a lot of you, you should be in pretty good shape. You should be able to get about 10 hours of active use out of the thing, whatever active use means. No one can really define that for me. Uh, we'll see how that actually pans out, but it's a significant improvement over the first model. All in all, I have to be completely honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the original Surface RT. It seemed like the sort of device where the hardware was absolutely there, but the software and the applications, the ecosystem that came with it was never really up to snuff. And I suspect we're still having the same problem here. Windows RT is fine, but it doesn't offer the sort of experience that I wanted. For someone like me, I would probably go for the Surface Pro 2, which we'll dig into a little bit later. Uh, as far as the hardware though, you can't really fault it. It's much lighter, it's got improved battery life, the touch cover is, is much thinner and much more responsive, which I had a lot of trouble with the first time around. Uh, it's a great device, it's a great piece of hardware, and we'll just have to see how well the software front kind of develops over time. And here we have Microsoft's Surface Pro 2, though I guess you'd be hard pressed to tell this is the new version just by looking at it. Most of the changes are, in fact, under the hood. Now, considering the fact that the first Surface Pro was sort of a chump when it came to battery performance, this is a very welcome improvement. And if you get really desperate, there is an additional battery slash keyboard that can be purchased. Once you connect it to your Surface Pro, you're also able to charge it in addition to type. So that's a nice little touch. There's also an Intel Haswell Core i5 processor inside there. It's clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. You're able to get it with either four or eight gigabytes of RAM, which is plenty for a little bit of midday gaming. There were a station set up at Microsoft's event for people to play a little Portal 2 or World of Warcraft. And even after messing around with it a little bit, I didn't notice any sort of visual slowdown or, or, or stumbling. It was actually really quite nice. If you take a look around the side, you'll find one full-size USB 3.0 port, one mini display port, and your volume rocker and your audio in and out. The Surface Pro 2 also has the same two-stage kickstand as the Surface 2, which, believe me, is actually really very helpful. The Surface Pro 2 still comes with a style, it's just like the model that came before it, and trust me, I am no artist. But after messing around with it for a little bit, I'm convinced it's just as responsive as ever, if not a little bit more so. Thankfully, Penny Arcade's Mike Kulik was around to show off Stylus performance, and he was, he was able to, uh, to make some pretty impressive stuff. So if you're a fan of digital art or web comics, you're probably going to have some fun messing around with this thing. Microsoft VP Panos Panay said on stage that the Surface Pro 2 is more powerful than 95% of the laptops on the market right now. That's a pretty bold claim, and we're looking forward to testing how well it stacks up once these review units come in. Uh, all things considered though, and these are just my really brief impressions of the device, I really like it. The, the original Surface Pro was a great device. It was, I think, what the original Surface should have been. There really shouldn't have been an original Surface, but that's just me. And these are some minor, if much needed changes, the battery in particular. Uh, hopefully these things do well. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not convinced that Windows RT has much, of, much life left in it, but 
considering the fact that we're heading into the holidays and Microsoft is really trying to push these lower end original surfaces in addition to the Surface 2s, you might see some movement there after all.